Hey everyone, Peter Johnson again from the SMSF Expert. What we're talking about today is you giving advice to existing SMSF clients. So we all know that to give financial product advice to a person about self-managed super, you need to give that in writing in the form of a statement of advice. Now financial product advice includes making contributions to superannuation. Now that would include existing SMSFs. Starting or ceasing a pension in superannuation, so clearly that also includes SMSFs. If you're going to give advice about an LRBA, that would almost certainly be financial product advice and, and that would apply to existing SMSFs. So this means that almost all of your existing SMSFs also need a statement of advice. Now those of you that are already authorised reps would know how much hassle it is to prepare a statement of advice. It's a huge document. Your licensee would make you go through hoops just to prepare a, an advice document for an existing SMSF. At the SMSF Expert, we have a process that really scales down the amount of time you need to put in to do an advice to an existing SMSF. What we mean by all this, of course, is that there's no switching advice here. A lot of the stuff ASIC go on about to make sure that we give uh, safe harbour advice is all about advisors switching clients from their existing product to a new product. Of course, you know, that's the pet hate of, of the public over financial planners. Everyone walks through the door, everyone walks away with the same product. Why is that? How could the same product be applicable to every person? So you've got an existing SMSF that walks through the door and you're saying to them, we're quite happy that you've got an SMSF. We don't want you to switch this product. And that's all we're really asking you to say. You've got an existing SMSF. You should keep your SMSF, pretty simple. You should continue to make contributions and you should consider a pension at pension age or continue a pension. We've found in talking to our advisors that they could spend as little as 10 minutes of their time in preparing the work to send to us to do this SOA. The rest can go to the admin people. Almost all the information we need is in your existing accounts. We can get all the data we want. It's a very simple process that takes very little of your time. And then next year, you do a record of advice. No SOA needed. The year after that, you do another record of advice. No SOA needed. So I really, really, really recommend that you talk to us about our simple process to get your existing clients on board into the SOA system for the least amount of effort from your